Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Women of favor. Hey. My name is Sister Flora Ajim. I worship in Festa 2, the favored branch. Favored branch. I'm here to testify to the glory of God for all the great things he has done for me and my family. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of the choosing. Thank you, Lord. Upon my joining choosing in 2003, I, things changed. And uh, we started suffering persecution, serious one. With poverty, that I don't even know how to describe. Then, I didn't look at that side. All we're doing is coming to choosing ground here, picking, picking debts, working for God, going for evangelism. We so occupied ourselves until one day our GO called for pledge. By the time he called for that pledge, I didn't also now have the kind of money I used to have before. But my thinking was still positive about this very God. Hmm. And so when he called for that pledge, 100,000 Naira, I came at the time of 100,000 Naira. And after that pledge, when the church closed, as I was going home, my I didn't know that my children saw me through the television in children's department. And they rushed me and they said, Hey, you went to go and pledge 100,000 naira when you have not even paid our school fees. I remember this your testimony, yes. I hmm. told them that God of choosing will take control. Hmm. And that same day, it was on a Sunday, we had a, zona, a group zona meeting for group zone three in Festac, in Brother Otonye's house. As we were there, they were sharing food. They were sharing something and there was no tray. So I begged my husband to please drive to the house and help me get some tray so that the food would be able to get to people. When he got home, he saw some people looking for him. And they, they came with 1.4 million naira that they want to buy a car. My husband was surprised. You want to buy a car just like that. Since we joined choosing, we have not sold one car. All the cars, they are there. Nothing is happening. You mean you want to buy a car? He said, yes. He said, follow me. So he brought them to 207 when we were having a meeting. And um, well, Was it, that a working day? It was on a Sunday. The it same, was on a Sunday. The, the same Sunday I made a pledge here in front okay. of me. So I said, this money that you brought and the um, bank is not working. How are we going to do it? They said they are not going home with the money. Oh, that whatever we will do with that money we should do. So I put my hand inside the money. I removed 100,000 naira. I scrambled a note. My husband signed and they signed. I signed as a witness and they left with the remaining money. Monday morning, I came to redeem my pledge and after that, situation changed. Clap on to God of the chosen. Thank you, Father. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you, Father. Being a member of Consigned Brethren so many years ago, we work in anywhere, anywhere at all there is work to be done. Mm. We sell book for the church. We carry sand if there is anything anywhere. We carry chairs. And um, at a time, it's like our daddy Gio was not calling for pledge anymore. Mm. And uh, I just started doing it on my own. I started giving... 100,000 Naira every month hmm. to the work that is going on here without telling anybody. Choose hmm. him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And as I was doing that, I, I didn't know that this God can even go ahead and do things I didn't pray for. Hmm. My son got scholarship to go to America just like that. Power. Some years back. Let's hear the secrets of the successes. Continue. And he came back, wrote, wrote exam for Nigerian University, 
and he got admission into Covenant University. Today, he's in 200 level. Clap unto God of the chosen. Thank you, Father. As we continue to do this work of God, I was dictated by old choosing partner. And um, that was about two years ago. And uh, I started joining the meeting. And the last meeting of last year was when a decision was taken to build the pulpit. And um, that day, we were asked to go and think of how much we are going to pledge, then come back. When that statement was made, I felt a bit uneasy in my heart. I said, no need to go house, come back home. Maybe we just do this thing here hmm. and uh, go. So our senior moderator said, do we have anything to say? I raised my hand. And one other brother raised his hand. That meeting was attended by so many people from other states. Other states. So the brother said there was no need for us to go and think before we will pledge that we are here to pledge and start that pulpit. And everybody seconded. That is how I pledged 250,000 naira. And when I looked at my husband, he was staying on men's side. He gave me go ahead. Mm, I doubled it again to 500,000. Clap after, unto God of the choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. After that incident, I got home again that night. A colleague of mine from UK, a white woman, called me. She greeted me well, and she told me she was missing me. I said, how? We met in Dubai, just April. And uh, August, September, you are missing me. She said, um, how come I don't come to UK? I said, I don't have anybody there. He said, ah, but you have me. He now can't tell the countries that anytime I want to come to UK, anytime I want to go to Malaysia, anytime I happen to ever want to go to India, I should call her and it's done. Hey. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And she, she said I should start preparing my papers to come to UK. I said no. She said why? I said the weather there is bad. Very, very bad. I can't come now. He said, where do you want to come? I said, June, July. She said, okay. The following day, she called me again. She said she couldn't sleep. That she can't sleep anymore. Hmm. That there is something that we have been working on. And uh, on my own part, since January 2017, I, I had this uh, lead poison that I've been suffering. And um, I couldn't walk well. I couldn't wear shoes all through that year. So she now said we have to meet that she has qualified to go to America for 40th anniversary of her company and that she won't go if I say I will not come. Hmm. Hmm. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As at that time, everyone in our Nigerian company was running up and down to qualify. So, I said, okay. And before I could say what, he cred she credited my account with 2 million naira to start the papers and uh, hey. that... God of choosing favor. God of favor. Thank you, Lord. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, the company is going to refund every cobble that she's spending. But because she does not want to waste my time, I should start processing my papers. So we started the processing. And along the line, the company, the agents, when we had a meeting, he said that 75 percent of the work is also that their own is 25 oh, and they've done their own by getting us uh, appointment to go to the embassy so when they finished they looked at me they picked only me among the people that came they say you um every time you are traveling you wear this thing you tie some see america is different so don't come and dress like that at the embassy oh. we don't want trouble oh. 
<laughs> I laughed. So they asked me why I was laughing. I said, there is no way I'm going to go anywhere without my apron. Hmm. You have already said the 75% of the work we are going to do at the embassy is our own. Your own is 25%. Eh, leave my own 75 for me. And the, the way I'm going to do it, you will know if that apron is something or not. Hmm. So on Saturday, there was workers' meeting. Opportunity was given to me to see my daddy Gio, and he laid hands on the document, and he just said, <laughs> there's a statement he used. He said, go and collect your visa. Hey! Thank you, I was shocked. So shocked. So direct. I was still waiting. I said, I've not seen daddy for a long time. Only this one. So he laughed as if he read my mind. He now came and touched my forehead. I was happy. So I left. Getting to the embassy that day, uh, upon all our batch, all the people that went for that visa that day, I was the only one that was granted visa and it was two years. Clap on to God of Tuesday. He answers prayer. He has strong covenant with the pastor of chosen. Thank you, Father. I came here today to thank this very God of choosing for changing my life, for putting good stories, testimonies in my mouth. Nobody believed that anything good will come out of me. Right from childhood. I thought it's by struggle. But I came to choosing to know that it's not by struggle. That's correct. That's the person. I started of working for this God. Anywhere they call me for me to come and do something, I'm always doing it with all my heart. And today, the testimonies are just coming. My daughter is among the choosing children that gave testimony for scoring high in their jam. She hmm. got 250. Thank you, Father. In that jam. Choosing, praise the Lord. From choosing International Secondary School. Thank you, Lord. Yesterday, again, we won for another examination. A monk has said that took that exam. When they were coming out, they were asking her, they were asking people, what's your score? This one we say, what's your score? When she was trying to sneak out, they called her. They said, what is your score? She told them, 44 over 60, and they screamed. Um, and they actually wanted to know what is unique. And of course, the uniqueness of God of choosing is what we are here to tell people to give. Do what you are asked to do. Because if you do, God of choosing will do your own. Hmm. In this thing that I've been running up and down doing my own part, I was also accustomed by arm robbers. And um, they said all of us should bring our things out. And uh, we should lie down. They were just giving orders. I refused to lie down. I refused. And a, a choosing sister that was also with me said I should lie down because they said they were going to shoot us. I didn't see any reason to lie down. Hmm. So when they got to me, the they changed person. their mind and they went back and they said we should be coming down one by one. So when it was my turn, I told them I am a choosing, I am a choosing, I am a choosing. You am Roba, who are you? Mm -hmm. They started apologizing and they, they told me they didn't come for me. I should stand by hey! the side. Obey the instruction of the pastor of chosen. You will be victorious every moment, any day, any time. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That was not enough for me. Because there are some choosing brethren inside that bus. So when they came out and they wanted to rob them, I said, no, leave this one, give her to me. Hmm. Then I started looking for choosing one choosing brother that was looking for apron. I mean, wearing apron. She ran, he ran away. I said, the arm robber should go and call him and bring him to me. Hey! And they went. Hey! Hey! hey, hey. Thank you, Father. Royal priesthood. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And they went, they brought the brother to me and we stood there. But the brother said, there is no need standing there. That we should go far away. From where the arm robbers are. I said no. So I took them to the pavement along the express. I kept them there. As I was going again to go and confront the arm robbers, 
the sister heard me that I shouldn't go. So as she was holding me, I started declaring again, we are choosing, we are choosing, we are choosing. You and Robert, stop that oppression, oh, because my, the God of my pastor is here. So they left what they were doing, abandoned the robbery, abandoned everything they've collected from people, and ran away. Hey! Listen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah! I am happy, oh. God, God chosen is my father, oh. I am happy. God all chosen is my. Are you happy? I am happy. God of Mokai is my father. Very happy. I am happy. God hey, is my father. Call upon to this great God. The God of the moment, the real way. May I clap unto him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I am a living testimony of the wonders of God of choosing. I want to let you know that the God of choosing is the one that says and it comes to pass. Yeah, Within this period we are given, he has changed our cars anytime. Anytime it, it pleases him, he will just change it. This last thing we did said, he knew, God of choosing knew that that vehicle probably might not get to Mbidi. He changed it with Ford escape. Choose him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Miracle testimony galore. I want to pray for my pastor. In searching for God, I and my family we have gone to churches. But by the time we came to choose him, I knew that this is the final bus stop. Power. I am a partaker of what God of Choosing is doing here. Hmm. I pray for my pastor that this God of Choosing that has called you and given you the 10 billion so my dates will see you through to the end in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to pray for our mommy in the Lord that God Almighty, the God that you serve passionately, will meet you at the point of your need in Jesus' name. Amen. And give you the strength to pursue and follow that the bumper to bumper in Jesus name. Amen. I want to pray for my choosing brethren worldwide that this God will remember and grant your heart desires in Jesus name. Amen. For first that two brethren as we continue to labor that this is your time to testify in Jesus name. Amen. I pray for all choosing worldwide, heaven at last, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. I cover my testimony with the blood of blood Jesus. Blood of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Please let us clap unto God and appreciate him.